One of my favorites. He supports the uh, Washington Generals of the NBA, the Sixers, like myself. Uh, give it up for Mr. Pat Breslin, everybody. Yeah. 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 You guys, good, good. Yeah. Keep it going for Jim, by the way. Too. Keep yeah. it going for Jim. Yeah. yeah. I love this place, and I love that there's at least like three guys here who are either look exactly like Jim or dressed exactly like him too. So if you're not Jim Dodge, and I've said, hey, I said I like the new stuff tonight, then I apologize. Good shit. Thanks for coming out tonight. Uh, you guys like the cold weather? Cold weather? No. Getting colder? No. Nobody? Anybody like the cold weather? Anybody prefer? Yeah. Do you guys? Yeah. One. Anybody else? I do. I. I, I like this colder. I, I like these colder months of the year. I do. I like. I prefer. Everyone likes the summertime, right? But I prefer the colder, colder, dead months of the year. You know why? Because you don't have to look good. Yeah. <laughs> kind of nice, right? Kind of let your appearance go for a few months here, right? You know, hibernate a bit. Anybody like to like not shave until Christmas? You can do that. Yeah. As long as your picture on Facebook's from July, who knows what the fuck you look like in November? Just completely just let your appearance go to hell. Yeah, you can. You gotta be careful. You can't let yourself go too much. Here's when you know you've let yourself go too much. Here's when you know when someone accuses you of looking hungover and you did nothing at all the night before. <laughs> That's a low point. It's like a Tuesday morning at work. Some guy's like, whoa, rough night last night? You're like, uh, nah. I should have stayed in and watched The Blacklist. So yeah, it was kind of a rough night emotionally. In the right sense. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell by how I'm dressed, but I'm a young dad from the suburbs. So, I'm kind of wearing a uniform. Yeah, yeah. Got, I got two kids now. My wife and two kids, two kids. Did I did it twice. Two kids. I got, I got, I got, a, I got a three-year-old and a four-month-old. And um, it's exciting because I didn't think we'd be able to, we'd be able to have kids because uh, I got kicked in the dick by a stripper at my bachelor party five years ago. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens to your bachelor party. No one tells you beforehand. You just kind of show up and they put you on the stage. The stripper comes out so starts kicking the cock like ten times in a row. You're like, this is fun, right? And if you were in the crowd that night, you'd be like, he's not going to have any kids at all. <laughs> surprise, surprise. I kind of want to go back there to like dangerous curves in Atlantic City and show up my two kids and be like, I think this is going to happen. Tell Cinnamon she's not kicking hard enough. <laughs> Anybody have kids? Anybody have kids, Errol? Any parents? Yeah? A few of you guys? All right, cool. Yeah? Everything changes when you have kids, right? Everything, everything changes when you have kids. My friends told me beforehand. My friends who had kids beforehand, they were like, dude, everything, everything will change once you have kids. And it should, right? You know, your life should change when you have kids. I had one friend, he was like, honestly, everyone says that, but honestly, it's not that bad. I'm like, I think you're doing it wrong. I think you're being a shitty father. Get on the plane, come home from Vegas right now. I got a three-year-old, uh, got a four-month-old, got a four-month-old right now. So he's two boys, four-month-old. Um, I'm out because he's four months. In the first three months, not so much, right? But I'm out now, right? We're past that first three months craziness, right? But uh, three-year-old's fun. He was two-year-old last year. Ever live with a two-year-old? Two-year-olds are fun. Ever live with a two-year-old? Two-year-olds are fun, right? Because, because they're just starting to talk a lot, and they're really excited about it, but you only understand about 40% of what they say. So it's a lot like living with someone who's new to the country. It's like having a really short foreign exchange student in my house who claps whenever I walk in the room. He gets all excited. He's like, pasta, 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 pasta. I'm like, no, blah. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> then I get frustrated. I'm like, look, man, if you're going to live in our country, you better learn to speak the damn language. We speak American. <laughs> damn, two year olds. <laughs> Four month old's fun, he's fun, he's he's kinda he's like short and I mean he's four months old, so he's just a little meatball right now. He looks like a retired cop. He's just short and fat ball, but it's awesome. I just love it. It's great. The first three months are crazy though. They're just I mean, it, right, it's just complete fucking mayhem. You're just you're you're in the bunker together, right? And right? You're just kind of like you're just not really sleeping at all, you know. I I uh um, or when you take a nap, you find yourself saying shit to each other, like, I'm gonna go take a nap in the corner of the basement for 10 minutes. Is that cool? <laughs> yeah, 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 that, right? You're calling each other from different rooms of the house, like, this is fun down here, and just laughing and crying at the same time, too. She joins a fight club to cope, you know, it's fun. It's a good time, it's good. 
People try to help, neighbors try to help too, right? Like, dude, if we can help in any way, just let us know. If we can help, people always say, if we can help in any way, like, be careful, be careful putting that offer in front of me, because I might take you up on that. I might show up at your house at like three in the morning with just like a big fat sheet diaper, be like, can you take this to at least Pennsylvania? Because it's that bad. <laughs> Make your parents fun. I'm a dad now. Like I, I just, I'm, I'm dad. I'm not dressed like a dad, right? I'll just get douche summer, you know, right? I'm just wear the fucking uniform, and you know, I, I don't know how to talk to young people anymore. Like young, hot chicks. I don't know what they want to say to them, right? Anybody under 25, I have no idea what to say to them. There's like a hot, there's like a hot, like 22 year old in our, in our neighborhood who like walks her dog, and like I saw her in the morning, I was just like, morning, good to see you. I say hi to her like the same way I say hi to the guy at the Exxon station. Like, Gordon, <laughs> fill it up for the regular. Right. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Suck. <laughs> the house, got a house now. I got a small house. You have a small house. Anyone else a small house at all? Nice small house people? Yeah, all right, nice. You guys have apartments, right? Whatever. Yeah, all right. It's a small house. It's fine. I have, I have a couple of friends with like a big house. Ever have a friend who has a big house and you can't tell if they're just really loaded or they just live in the middle of fucking nowhere, right? <laughs> like, this is fun, this is great out here. Like that lake and that pond. Yeah, do you have Wi-Fi? Because I need to check some scores. This sucks. Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> we have a small house. Small house people, yeah, it's fun, right? A small house. I don't care. You know your house is small though, people talk about it like it's a baby. You're like, oh, your house is so fucking cute, I just want to eat it. You're like, okay. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know. Okay. Let's say that. It's fine because all the houses by us are small, so they're all kind of small, which is, like our town is all small houses, which means they're all old houses, like built like 100 years ago, which is fine, you know? But like every once in a while, because they're old, you get like new construction too, right? So you'll see like 15 houses in a row, all the same size, and then just one massive new house in the middle. You're like, gee, how small is that guy's dick, right? So, and then the driveway, you see like an Asian dude getting out of an Escalade, and you're like, Oof. maybe pretty small. <laughs> Don't have a man cave. Any guys have a man cave at all? Any man cave guys out there? Yeah, douchebags, right? <laughs> you have a friend who's like, yo, dude, come on to my man cave and watch some football. He's like, are you gonna try to touch me? You know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna show up. I don't wanna go. Yeah, I don't wanna be invited to your man cave. It's kinda creepy. Guys do that now. That's something we invented. Our, our generation invented the man cave, right? You know, like 40 year old dudes. So you gotta go play video games and you, you take the kids, right? Ooh, I suck, right? You know, man caves, right? You know, but like fine if you're like kids too, right? But what if like 15 years from now, you know, your kids like bringing some girl by the house, you know, he's gotta give her the tour. Like, hey, you know, yeah, that's my room. That's my sister's room. Um, that's my parents' room. And that's, that's where my dad watches the Cowboys and jerks off on Sundays. God, God you suck. <laughs> We know what else we invented? We invented to our generation, man, man caves and Tough Mudders. We did that too, yes. <laughs> tough Mudders, that's on us, that's our fault. Any Tough Mudder people out here? Any Tough Mudders, fuck them, right? <laughs> tough Mudders, <laughs> fuck the Tough Mudders. The tough, we did that, it's, it's a white people in the suburbs dimension, it really is, let's face it too, right? We did that, we invented Tough Mudders, just let's all get together and go to an obstacle course in the middle of nowhere, put on a bandana, right? Just get electrocuted in the mud, it's so cold, it's, ah, it's, it's intense, right? Just felt awesome, right? And just, ah, oh, I feel like a warrior today. Like, yeah, yeah you got your Acura and drove home. <laughs> so much more intense when it's colder, duh, right? Shut up. And it's all like young parents I know who do this too, right? Like young parents who are just like, oh, yeah, doing this, whatever, you know? And, and then like, but here's the thing. If you're, if you're a dad, just being a dad is enough of an obstacle course most of the time. I feel like I'm electrocuted some days and I'm not wearing a headband or a bandana. So. <laughs> CrossFit, CrossFit, we do that too. What's CrossFit? I don't know. Has anybody been to CrossFit? I'm convinced it's a cult or something, right? It's a bunch of people and they get together in like an abandoned gym or, or garage or warehouse and they fuck each other and then they go for a group jog. I, I think that's what CrossFit is, right? I don't know. It's a swinger cult. <laughs> married? Who's married? You're married people? Okay. <laughs> Love my wife, always great, she's great. She's, uh, I married a therapist. Anybody do that? Don't do that, married a therapist, yeah. <laughs> she's great, she's great, but she diagnoses everybody. She's like, oh my God, look at him. She's, oh my God, he's so, his ADD is so bad. I'm like, he's a puppy, shut up, <laughs> <laughs> you're safe. 
<laughs> we um and, and you know the thing too is like I mean it sucks because like I married a therapist like the, the wedding announcement in the paper is so one-sided when you marry a therapist it's like the bride to be is two master's degree you know and the groom is gonna be Uncle Gino's chuckle shack this weekend check it out <laughs> I have my wife on the internet, too. Anybody else do that? Anybody else do that? All right? No? No? Okay, all right. Fuck me. All right, thanks, guys. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. That's fun. That's good. That's good. Right. Dude, should be like, Match.com. But like six years ago, when it was still kind of a little bit creepy, you know? So that was fun, right? Anybody do the online dating at all? Anybody do that? I think the whole point is kind of like, if you're into the online dating, just kind of like delve into it, get your feet wet. I'm like really into it. I got like, I got like fantasy football into him while they're trying to make trades. They don't like that. They don't like that at all. Don't do that. Don't do that. They don't like that at all. I, I like I full disclosure because I like you guys. I was not just on Match.com at one point. I was on Catholic Match.com too. I don't know. I thought it was gonna be like a bunch of like excellent Catholic school kids like me who are like really horny and want to hang out. It wasn't at all. It was like I was like, what do you think of the Book of Luke? I'm like, I don't know. I was just trying to get laid. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Chat room here, my bad. <laughs> I'm glad I met my wife. I'm glad I met my wife when I did, because like we all got that thing like that's wrong with us that we don't want anyone to know about. I'm hairy. Any hairy guys here? All? Any hairy guys? Anyone? Really? Jesus. I see that you guys are shaving. Really? Nobody here? Really? Good. Yeah. I'm the only douchebag. Thanks. Guys. Thank you. I'm the only guy. Thank you. Appreciate that. You know, like I'm, I'm like I'm like I know I'm actually what's known as unexpectedly hairy. Yeah. Like I know like as in most of the girls I've hooked up with in my life when I've taken my shirt off, they just be like, oh, okay. No, I just. Uh, <laughs> I didn't expect you to be that hairy. <laughs> and the other five just looked at me and said, wow, that's disgusting. What the fuck are you? How do I get out of here? <laughs> my shirt up's like, wait, I hear a big two rights. The turnpike's right there, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> if you saw me at the town pool, you'd be like, oh, somebody shoot that really skinny bear. That's how hairy I am. <laughs> My son, he, the, the first guy, he, when, he, when he was born, he was born six weeks early, and he, he was born with a hairy back, no joke. And the nurses were like, no, no, all the preemies get that, and it'll go away, and like, it'll come back in 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> Wife, kids, I got a dog. Any dog people? Any dog people? Any dog owners out there? Yeah? What kind of dog? Spaniel Collie. What is it? Spaniel Collie. Spaniel, Spaniel. Spaniel Collie, okay, so what made that Collie? Okay, I'm not gonna ask, all right, cool. All right, cool, big dog, is that a big dog or is that a? Uh, still puppy. Okay, all right, so still, I mean, but like, did they get big or? 55-ish. 55 pounds, got it, all right, cool, all right. I have a small dog, I have a Shih Tzu, any Shih Tzu people out there? Any small dog people out there? Yeah, no, no. His name's Leo, he's a Shih Tzu. Um, actually, he's like, he's big, he's like, a, he's like 20 pounds for a Shih Tzu, all right, so that's big for a Shih Tzu. I call him a Shih Tzu Husky, because I feel better about myself, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he, I, when he gets hairy, he looks like Dwayne Allman, it's awesome, he really, it's just like a really cool, I love it. Yeah, like right before he gets a haircut, it looks just like Greg Allman or Dwayne or one of those guys, it's awesome. But um, yeah, I love dogs, uh, but I feel bad that he just got a haircut recently, and uh, he got a bad haircut, a rough week for him to get a bad haircut. Yeah, he did. Dogs totally know when they get a bad haircut. So they too, they're just like us. They're just like us. He's all sulking in the corner. I'm like, oh, it's time to go potty outside. He's like, nah, man, not like this. <laughs> Give me a week, I'll hold it. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. <laughs> Actually, really rough week for Leo. Leo walked in, my wife and I having sex. He walked in on us having sex. Ever do that? Ever try to have sex? With... Actually, I can't say he walked in on us having sex when our house is so small. Pretty much whenever we have sex, he's kind of forced to watch. <laughs> Ever have sex with the, with the animal watching you guys? Ever have sex with a dog watching you guys? That's fun, right? That's romance, right? Sitting there trying to focus. You got five minutes to make love. You got this asshole from like five feet away just barking at you. <laughs> I'm literally, I'm having sex with my wife and I'm, I'm at the same time I'm yelling, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I, I think I put him on the bed. We had sex with Leo on the bed with us. He tried getting in and I was like, not that kind of party little guy. Not that kind of party little guy. But I like how you think. I like how you think. And at the end, when we were done, the look in his face was just so confused and disgusted. Just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You guys face each other when you have sex? You guys have pep rest. You guys have lots of fun. Have a great rest of the night. This place is awesome.